Hi, welcome to my channel to Irrational. I'm Pranay Sharma and in this video we are going to discuss the details of the online examination just announced by IAI Institute and I'll also give you some techniques and tips to practice for that examination. So the first thing we are going to discuss is the details of the online examination. So the examination is home based that means you have to give the examination from your home itself. It is not an open book examination that means you cannot keep your notes or books open during the examination. It is going to be taken through an exam software. II is going to provide you with that software. The details I'll talk about it later. While registering for the examination, they will be asking you to upload a picture. So make sure that it is a latest picture and similar to what you would be looking during your examination. Then during the examination, they will ask you to show you uh, show a ID card, photo ID card. So keep that ready while for the examination. And also they will ask you to show your surrounding. So they would make sure that you are alone in that room. So they will ask you to show that by showing the whole room before the examination. As you might have guessed by now, it is going to be a proctored examination. That means there will be an invigilator that is going to be seeing you. You will not be able to see that person, but they will be able to see you and hear you all the time. To understand how the system would work, IAI is going to organize a mock test, which is going to be compulsory for you. And I would definitely suggest make sure you are giving the same examination with the same laptop that you are going to give in the final examination. Now let's discuss the hardware and the software required for the examination so you will either have a desktop pc or you will have a laptop it should contain a well working webcam it should have a mic it should have speakers and it should have a single monitor setup so if you have desktop pc at your home with which has multiple monitors during the examination remove uh, multiple monitors and keep only one monitor now during the examination your webcam and mic will be on throughout your examination so the person who is going to be monitoring you will see your webcam and will be able to hear you through the mic if during the examination they feel like there is a lot of disturbance around you especially if a lot of sound is coming from outside they will ask you to move and they will directly contact you so you should have a speaker set as well so either your laptop speaker should be on or if you are using a desktop pc should have speakers available with you now for the softwares you should have windows 10 or 11 operating system mac os and linux are not allowed only windows 10 or windows 11 you would require Google Chrome or Firefox, the latest version. Then we are going to write the examination in MS Office. Mainly Word and Excel are needed. If you have only those two, that is fine as well. Or you can have the whole package. And it should be 2010 or later. That means 2013, 2017, 2019. All of them are acceptable. 2010 or later. Then you should have latest version of R programming and R studio for giving the CS1 or CS2 examination. Now because it is a proctored examination that means your webcam and mic is going to be on full time. You should have a very good internet connection. They recommend 1 Mbps or more. I would not recommend you to give the examination using your mobile data. You should have a good broadband connection. Other than these softwares, IAI will provide you with the examination software. They'll email you when and how you will be able to download that software. For more details, you should read the announcement given by IAI on their website. You will have the announcements. You can go to view all. And this is May 2024 actual examination registration announcement and click view link. And you have all the information that you need here. Now let us discuss how would we prepare for this examination. For paper A, 
First, we'll remember that it is not going to be an open book examination. So you're not allowed to keep any papers with you. Just some rough papers will be allowed, not more than that. You will have to practice typing in MS Word. Students do ask me that should I first write the whole answer on paper and then type it in Word. You will not have enough time to do it two times. So you will have to practice it directly typing in MS Word. So the first thing that I would recommend is type formulas of each chapter so that you get an idea of how would you write your formulas in the examination. Now for those formulas you can use equation editor. Equation editor is allowed in your examination. Although for people who are using an old laptop don't use equation editor because a lot of equation editor starts making your laptop slow and slow and slow. So to check make a formula sheet using equation editor let's say after two pages of using equation editors you feel like your computer is becoming slower and slower it's responding late then don't use equation editor in your examination now without equation editor also you can make all your equations in the description you will find videos on how to write using equation editor and how to write examination questions with and without equation editor as well. I have done that for CM1 as well as CS1. You will find all the links in the description below. Let's discuss question paper pattern. Now the closest pattern that you will find would be for March 2022 question papers. So I would recommend for whichever subject you are giving the examination, you should look for that particular examination question paper. There will be certain questions that they are going to ask in MCQ style. Now that does not mean they are one mark question or a single line question. Usually when they feel like you might have to type a lot, they convert it into an MCQ style question. I'll give you an example. Here this is March 2022 CM1A examination paper and you might find these are MCQ style questions. So this is not a one line answer. You have to solve it and then give the answer in MCQ base. In the examination you have to just write answer A, B, C or D. That's it. Similarly you will find that this is a big question. You will find this is a large question here they have again made it into an MCQ so rather than you writing five different lines you just have to write whether your answer is A, B, C or D. So this is the pattern that you might see in the other examinations also. For better understanding as I said check the March 2022 exam paper. Another question that students ask me, can we use Excel and R programming for calculation purposes in your paper A? You cannot. So the exam software that the institute will provide us will not allow you to open any other software. So you cannot open R Studio, you cannot open Excel during your paper A examination. So all the calculations you have to do using your calculator. The recommended calculator is Casio FX 82 ES Plus. There are many more. You can check that in their website. You'll have to use that for your calculations. Now, paper B is more or less simple. You have to make sure that you practice on R Studio or Excel depending on your examination. If you are giving CS1 or CS2 examination, Make sure you download all the relevant packages required in your R examination. Some students have informed me before that certain keyboard shortcuts are not allowed while the examination software is running. So make sure you check them during your mock examination. In the description, I will also leave links to the detailed solution of March 2022 examination for CM1 as well as CS1 paper A and paper B both. Do check that out so you'll get an idea of how we are typing what we are typing. Your aim will always be to write as minimum as possible and give the maximum information. So you write your equations and directly then your answers. In middle 
if the equation is not evolving a lot you are just substituting the values you don't have to show that as a new step so you have your equations then your answers if you are finding some values in the equation then you have to show that otherwise you don't have to show the calculation step for mcq style question you just have to write a b c or d you don't even have to write the answer uh, what a is what b is you don't even have to write that you don't have to show any solution for mcq style question they are there so that you don't have to type a lot so i have seen especially the questions that have integration and needs to be solved a lot or a uh, very lengthy equations that needs to be solved a lot for such questions they ask mcq style questions these are some tips that i can think of for your online examination if you have any queries please write down in the comments i'll reply there or i'll make a new video for it right now we have plenty of time for well preparation make sure your typing speed is fast so start practicing on word right now do like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one